Alright. Remember that uh, first star I worked on? I finally made one that worked. Alright, so uh it uses aluminum here. There's a bomb electrode. Very thin wire connected to one. Now it seems as though the problem the whole time was the power supply. I've been using this big one right here. But instead when I use this, look at that. It's swinging. Oh, it's swinging in the wrong direction, though. But then I... I must be due to some asymmetric... Nope. The pointy thing. What, Luca? Oh, so I was asking you, did you need help? Okay. So, there's thrust. I'm going to then put in the factory to see if it's an ionic result. I'm so happy. Finally! Uh, it doesn't take up that many watts, though. I wish I could make a transformer that could take up as many watts as I needed it to. I'm going to work on better forms. I mean, tomorrow I'm starting high school. Yeah, I'm a freshman, so... I don't really know much about... Making symmetrical things. And I, I guess I could... I should have known that this wasn't storing any capacitance because every time I touch the electrodes here, it would give a discharge watch. It gave a discharge. For this, it didn't. I guess that means I put in too much voltage for the barium, for the pol for the dielectric to contain. <sighs> Finally, what is this going to be used for? If it works in a vacuum, it'll be used for satellite technology. Heck, maybe next space technology. Thank you guys for helping. Uh, according to a person by the name of J. L. Narden, he says that the thruster works better with the dielectric in between. There's a, I don't have a link, but if you look up Brown Bonson saucer, that'll explain. Anyways, I gotta go. Thank you.